Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, we'll introduce work in Canada without an LMIA, Labour Market Impact Assessment. So, to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and, subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. It's possible for a foreigner who wants to work in Canada, to be granted a work visa even without an LMIA confirmation letter. Temporary foreign employees can get work permits without an LMIA thanks to the IMP, International Mobility Programme. The international agreements between Canada and other nations are the subject of Section 204 of the IRPR. Examples include 1. NAFTA, North American Free Trade Agreement, to be replaced by USMCA. 2. GATS, the General Agreement on Trade in Services, World Trade Organization WTO. 3. FTA, Free Trade Agreements with some countries such as Chile, Colombia, and Bermuda, and 4. CETA the Canada-European Union Comprehensive Trade Agreement. Canadian interests are covered under IRPR Section 205 for instance. First is significant contribution. The applicant must persuade the officer that they are well known on a global scale, demonstrate how their presence in Canada will significantly affect a high-profile event, and demonstrate if they are bringing social, cultural, or economic advantages to Canada. Second is self-employed and entrepreneurs. Foreign nationals who wish to work for themselves, or run a temporary business in Canada must show that doing so will result in substantial advantages, or possibilities for Canadian citizens or permanent residents in the areas of the economy, society, and culture. The candidate who intends to launch their own company must demonstrate how their innovative services will benefit Canadian customers. The candidate may eventually stay permanently and seek permanent residency if they intend to purchase a business in Canada. Next, the applicant must take into account the following things before applying using this option. 1. Is it conceivable that the effort will generate a successful firm that will help Canadian or permanent resident employees, or stimulate the economy? 2. Does the candidate have any experience or qualifications that will help the company be more successful? 3. Exists a business plan that demonstrates unequivocally that the applicant has taken action to launch their venture? 4. Has the applicant taken any steps to implement the business plan, such as renting space, establishing a personnel plan, getting a business number, displaying ownership agreements or documentation, or is this still just a paper exercise? Now, intra-company transferees. To strengthen a selected firm, increase Canadian exports, and add value to the market, this permission enables foreign businesses to temporarily relocate skilled people to Canada, emergency repairs or repair personnel for out-of-warranty equipment. Next is, television and film production workers. A letter of support from a Canadian television or film production business is required for foreign nationals who are currently employed in the television or film sector, and wish to pursue the same line of work in Canada. The applicant must persuade the officer that the job is necessary for a TV or film production firm, and would significantly benefit Canadians and permanent residents in terms of both economic advantages and employment prospects. Next is, Francophone Mobility. A. To encourage the immigration of Francophones outside of Quebec, the federal government of Canada collaborates with the minority group of Francophones. B. To respect Canada's federal, multilingual, and multicultural nature, and to strengthen and promote the social and cultural fabric of Canadian society. C. Live in caregivers whose permanent residence application is submitted. D. Bridging open work permits allows for the hiring of foreign employees in Canada when Canadians have access to equivalent possibilities elsewhere, exchange agreement, between the Canadian and foreign parties or the International Experience Canada program. Next is, International Experience Canada, Youth Exchange Programs. International Experience Canada, IEC offers the chance to travel and work overseas to earn life-altering professional and personal experience. Three kinds of foreign nationals are eligible to participate in the program. 1. Working holiday, France-only summer jobs. 2. Young professionals. 2. International co-op, internship. 
for academic exchanges, professors, visiting lecturers. Performing arts, entry of foreign performers in dance, such as ballet or modern, opera, symphony, or live theatre benefits all Canadians, including Canadian performing artists and performing arts organizations, and gives them a competitive edge. That is all for today, in this video. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire video. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.